going on everybody apex right in here finally back with another video uh it's been an extremely crazy last year year and a half uh pretty much had a baby sold two houses bought one moved of course quit my job uh stay at home dad full time now and going back to school for cybersecurity. so to say the least a lot of things have been going on but I've actually had a few people and a couple comments of people asking for, for more videos and stuff. So I've just tried to find, you know, good examples for, for how to's and fixing it and all that stuff. And I haven't really come across anything that I've needed to like fix or whatever, but I finally have. And this video, what, like I said, what it brings us to muting our discord or an audio source from your stream. Uh, what I'm going to be using it for personally is my discord, uh, cause game I'm playing recently is that request. And, uh, when we go on raids, you know, I, I, I mean, sometimes depending on the raid or depending on the people that are in the raid, uh, the discord chat can get pretty hectic and get pretty loud. And I don't always want that to be a, you know, part of the stream. And a lot of people don't want to hear that. A lot of people want to hear the music that's going on, or a lot of people just want to hear me. They don't really want to hear a bunch of the chitter chatter that's going on in discord. So for the longest time I've been trying to figure out how do I mute it? How do I get rid of it? I found a couple how-to videos online on YouTube on how to trick your windows to going to like an audio source that you don't use, but then you use OBS to capture it and monitor it. It's a huge like duct tape fix and I didn't like it because it actually messed up a couple of my other things. So I was bringing it up to actually somebody else in my stream and they said, hey, you should look into virtual audio cables. I did, fixed it in five, 10 minutes. So that's what we're going to be doing today. All the links that you guys need is going to be in the comments or not, I'm sorry, not in the comments, but in the description. So check that out and let's get started. First thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to vb-audio.com. This is going to be the two, this is going to be the one place for the two things that you need to get this done. So first thing that we're going to need to do, go get your audio app, the audio apps, virtual audio cable download. That's it. You just need one thing. If you're going to be monitoring and not wanting to broadcast one audio source, you just need one. You have the option to buy multiple, um, you know, it comes in packs of two, do that if you want, uh, but you can do more if you'd like, but this one in particular, this scenario, we're just doing one. So go on ahead, get it downloaded, and once that you have it downloaded, you will run it. So where I have mine, it's gonna be here, audio, so, 32-bit, 64-bit, whichever that you need to do, run it, doesn't matter. Mine says remove driver because I've already installed it, but all you have to do is just click install, done. You do not need to restart your computer, not yet at least. The second thing that we install, you will need to restart your computer. So we will go back. Now that you have that installed, it's really quick and easy. Click it, you're done. We want to come back to voice meter. This is something that you may not need, but I feel it's a need because I'm sure there's probably a way in how you can fix it where you don't use this in particular and you just use the, uh, the Windows volume mixer or the sound mixer, but I try to look into it. It honestly seems like it's going to be another one of those duct tape fixes. So I just said, threw it out the window. I'm just using this because I've saw I've seen a couple people use this and I've heard a couple of recommendations of people using this. So this is what this is why we're going to use it because this will make it easier. So same situation, going ahead, download the zip package so that you have the whole thing and not just the exe file. Going ahead, download it, installs the exact same way as the drivers for the virtual audio cable. Instead, this time it is going to ask you to restart. So please do that. So. Once the computer is now restarted, we're just going to do a search for voice meter. This is going to end up getting installed into a default system folder. You can move it later on if you want, whatever, doesn't matter. So we're going to open it up. Here it is. This is how it looks. You're missing a few things up here. Uh, I have already, I have mine already set. Uh, your hardware out is going to be blinking already. Uh, it's just asking for your headphones or your speaker, pretty much wherever you're wanting the sound to end up going to. So you have that chosen. Come over here, put, select your input for like your default microphone, whether if it's uh, audio technica or whether if it's, you know, headphone speaker or headphone microphone, whatever you want to use. And then we're going to choose the second one to be the virtual audio cable. Now we want the virtual audio cable to be here because this is the whole point of it. We want to be able to monitor it and force it to another source so that we can monitor it there and not on the default audio because your OBS or 
your mixer or your streamlabs whatever that you're using is capturing your default audio source so we want to push the audio that you're wanting to not be heard to not be on your audio default but you still want to monitor at the same time that's the biggest issue being able to monitor an audio source that's not going to your default speakers headphones whatever so now that we have that chosen there we're gonna open up so like for me i'm gonna do discord because again this is what i'm do i'm this is what i'm using it for and then all you have to do is just go to your output device where you wanted to push the audio and switch it to your virtual audio cable that's it you don't even have to do anything on your on your obs because and we'll go over the test but this is all that you have to do so now if we hit on the test we'll see that this channel is picking up the microphone that's it so what i'll do now is i will pull up my obs so that we'll see that the obs is not capturing the discord on the desktop audio so now we have our obs up what we're going to do is just pretty much again show you the test that the discord audio is not being pushed to your default audio or to your desktop audio on the obs so here we'll play some music showing that you know clearly the audio is working but then we're going to run the test on the discord so that we see that it's not being picked up on the desktop audio which is one of the sources that is being captured and being put on display on your stream test 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 so as we can see the discord is being picked up by voice meter and it's being monitored by voice meter but it's not being pushed to the default audio source which is the source being captured on your stream so you're able to hear it it's not being pushed to your twitch stream and if you really wanted to you can manage it on obs if you'd like and that again it's not needed if you don't want to do it but if you want to bring back and forth like if you want people to hear uh hear the discord uh, channel every once in a while like i mean i would so you come here you add an audio output capture and you just name it whatever that you want discord or spotify or whatever that you want to do and come here switch it to your virtual audio cable hit okay and that's it test 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 that's it and then if you really wanted to you can just mute it so that you can just bring it back and forth of monitoring or broadcasting it or not broadcasting it that's it that's simple like i said i mean of course making the video is a lot longer than five ten minutes but once you accumulate the two things that you need and you end up putting it together it's five ten minutes worth of work and it's free and it's easy and you don't have to like mess with any of your windows sound settings so but yeah that's it so uh again thanks for watching the video uh any questions please put them in the comments i'm really good with getting back to them uh so I'll, i even do some research myself to see if i can look them up uh, but uh, again thanks for watching it appreciate it hit the like button See you later.